Hey friends, Kevin Gehring here. Hey, working on the airplane today, and I haven't done a video in a very long time, and I've had it actually surprise a lot of people. Hey Kevin, how come no videos? Well, I just kind of got busy and didn't think about it. So here we are. So had the airplane almost entirely one year. So happy anniversary, baby. Uh, been a huge cash dumpster, but I love this plane. It has just been awesome. Uh, all right, so. I'm in the middle of the annual, and I and over the last year I've done uh, quite, I've had quite a squawk list going. Nothing major whatsoever. It's clear that the owner of this plane, the last owner, did love this plane and took good care of it. I've got no complaints. But there's a lot of things that were not to my satisfaction. So I've been working on those and and also made a big list. Uh, that was supposed to get done in annual. So a lot of the annual, well, the annual inspection itself is done, but I'm down to the, the big items. The big item being the new window. So that's what I talked about is this window. So I'm gonna turn this around, there we go. Let's talk about the airplane, sorry about that. All right, so when you're talking about a 182 windshield, and you can see I have it out, and there goes an airplane gonna run down the runway. Let's look at it, there we go. That's the skydiving plane for Lodi Skydive, they're 182, so we'll have some skydivers here shortly. All right, back to this. So when you are changing out a window, a lot of people de-rivet this lower valance piece right here, and there are a lot of rivets. Didn't count them, I'm gonna guess roughly 100. And so one way to do this is to de-rivet this entire piece right here, and then you can fit the window in and then put it back down and either re-rivet or I know a lot of people use screws. I think if I had to de-rivet this, I would probably want to use screws too. It's a lot going on. All right, but what does the 182 manual say? The 182 manual says using two people in the front seats, place your feet halfway up the window and press out with your feet kicking it out of the channel. And what you have is a channel up in here where there, there's a lip and it actually holds the windshield in. And so by pressing it, you're bowing the window, bowing this piece of metal up, maybe a little bit, it's pretty stiff, and pulling that out. I did that, I did it by myself. I don't recommend doing it because if you don't get it out exactly even, what happens is part of it will stay, part of it comes out and you'll put a little tiny wrinkle in your cabin like I did there. That is my fault, my bad. So lesson learned, use two people like the book says. It says it for a reason. All right, so windows out, all of the channels have been cleaned. And so all that's left is to put this window back in, but I can't use my feet to get it back in. So that's gonna be a problem. So looking over here, my projects, here's the old window. The old window gets the floor. You see the crazing? That's why I wanted a new window. That's horrible. Um, so I've got that crazing there. We've got another spot down here. It actually is showing up really nice on the camera. It's almost not that bad when it's in the airplane. So on the top, you can see that you have that lip right there that's going to, I'll try to get it in focus, this lip where it's going to snap in there. Okay, so what I did is I put the old window, cleaned it up, put it back in and used a grease pencil and marked where it sets in the airplane. Now, of course, when I put it back in, I just had that lip on top of the cabin, not under it. Then I put in the new window, marked it, and compared the markings. And believe it or not, this window, the new one, is slightly smaller. So this is from LP Arrow. It doesn't look like I need to trim it at all. But what I'm going to do, what I started to do, is I don't like how rough it is right here. Uh, get that in focus. It's a little rough, like you can see the bandsaw marks. And so I'm gonna take this uh, sander right here and polish it down and also put a small bevel here so that it fits in there just a little bit nicer. So that is the plan. So I'm going to set it in the lower tray, into the sides, and then I'm quoting from, as close as I can, to the Cessna 182 book, using a piece of metal, the width of the cabin, shoehorn the window back in. Um, I've tried it with 032. It's not gonna work. 032 is just not thick enough. So if you're gonna, if I were gonna do it again, I'd get some 040. Um, I did read somewhere on the internet that somebody was using uh, drywall putty knives and they do come in a 14 inches or uh, spring steel. So I'm gonna get a couple of those and give it a shot. I will not be videoing while I do that. I'm gonna have my hands full. Okay, uh, next thing is, 
when you buy a new window, it does in fact come with felt. Let me get my felt over here that it came with. And it, LP Aero sends reasonably thin stuff. Thank you, LP Aero. However, let me get that out there. However, when you wrap this around, actually go the other way, sorry. Wrap it around to get that in, in there. I did, I wrapped this all up, tried to get it in there. No joy. That window is not going to fit in there. El Piero window is actually a little bit thicker and heavier than the original window thickness. I have not measured it yet, but I can just tell by looking at it. It's, it's, it's a healthier window. So once the felt's on, it's not going in there. There's no way. Uh, and I've the book does not call for the felt. The instructions don't call for the felt. I know that Cessna does put felt in just from experience. Uh, I think if I were going to pull off that lower valance, felt would be fine. Uh, my thought on felt is it will wick moisture, so maybe that's not a good idea. After some extensive research, I don't have stuff in the bag here, I'm going to go with Bostic 1100, talking some other mechanics, looking on the internet. That's what I found. All right, so that is the plan, and I we'll see how it goes. The next video is either going to be a disaster or one of those fan fantastic things. Like I said at the beginning of the day, it's either me a great day or a really bad day. So that's what I'm up to. Take care. Bye. Three hours later. Well, I told you it was either going to be a failure or a success. And guess what? It was a success. Hey, look at that. Look at that up there. I'll, I'll uh, turn it around just a second. But um, the window was in. I couldn't be happier. So let me turn it around and show you here. So all right it is in and is beautiful and it was not easy all right i'm going to tell you that right now so um following the cessna manual i did try a long piece of 032 up on the cabin top because you have to put it in down here around this lower brow in the sides and then Lastly, it's going to slide up under here because it has that clip that I showed you earlier. So I tried it with the uh, uh, the Cessna way. It didn't work. I did read somewhere on the internet to use the big old putty knives, which is right there. One of these guys right here. 14 inch was the biggest I could find. About three of them. Only needed two. So I did one on either side. And at one point, I was up there on the cabin roof kind of pushing down on it and when it goes it goes and then we just tap it in and I want to show you so if your lessons learned all right so lessons learned the window when the I pre I sat the window in all of the channels with the window on top of the cabin and with it setting here it's only about a half an inch back if you can't get it a half inch within a half inch of the edge of the aluminum, I don't think there's any chance you're ever going to do this method. So you're gonna to have to get a half inch in there. Uh, LP Arrow window needed absolutely no trimming. All I did is uh, sanded the edges and made them super smooth. Um, other lessons learned, I still have to get in there and fix the, oh, the trim in there. That's just the foam. So I wish I would have trimmed it out, fixed that, and then put the window in. The problem is that the Naga hide, if you want to call it that, the fake leather that was in there, the pleather, went down and tucked in the window. And I don't think that that, is a, that that was a hindrance. So I would trim out the Naga hide, trim it off nice so it ends before it touches the window. Or if it did go down there, it didn't have a big bead on it like the one I have did. But anyway, there it is. I think it looks great. I'm gonna walk around in here and well my legs are out that's what happens when your airplane skips leg day by the way um, it gets skinny legs so i have the solar gray and i think it looks fantastic i don't know if the video is going to do it justice but uh, i'll kind of come across and then we'll go out so you can see the difference in in um, the clarity so there kind of stop it there i don't think it really darkens it that much at all this one is a green tint so I am couldn't be happier uh, right now. The only, well, I guess it could be happier. Uh, the only thing that I don't care a lot for is there's a bit of a mismatch between the window edge and the wing. So if I bring it around like that, uh, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera. But maybe we can do it this way and you can see that I wish this part was out here a little bit more. That would be nicer, but I've seen them a lot worse from other manufacturers so 
All right, big shout out to my buddy Nathan over at JetX who gave me a shirt and uh, also gave me a lot of tips and tricks on putting this window in. He's a fantastic guy over at JetX at uh, Sacramento Executive Airport. So thanks, Nathan, for all your help. And um, that is it. So I'm going to say, I'm not going to say back to work because I think it's time to go home and celebrate getting the window in. All right, bye.